Hello, techies! Oh, this is perfect, doing this kind of video. It feels kind of good. I don't have to worry about, you know, constantly entertaining an audience or multitasking between a bunch of different things, like games, talking to chat, making sure I'm not muted all the gosh darn time. <laughs> but I guess I should explain why I started doing these. I don't know if these remind you of anything, but this was inspired by Tommy and its serious videos on a serious channel and Technoblade's Skyblock commentary. I wanted a way to put out videos that I could give out my honest opinions about things and go a bit more in depth than on stream. On stream, the thing is, I'm trying to get through a lot of chatters. I don't want people to feel like I'm not seeing what they're saying. So I try to make sure that I'm seeing and answering multiple things and it can get a little overwhelming, especially because a lot of times there are questions or topics that I could answer for like a solid minute or two with very in-depth answers. But I can't really do that, especially because there's a game going on as well. Usually I'm on stream with other people and I don't want to just be talking to chat the whole time. Otherwise, my friends will be left out and I need to chat with other chatters. So it can be kind of hard. And after I saw those videos by Tommy, I thought this is a good idea and I like it a lot. So that's why I'm doing these videos. I feel like also they're easier to make. The plan is to just put, is to just put Valorant uh, gameplay or any gameplay for that matter. It could be Fall Guys or anything and just put over my commentary about random topics and questions. Sure, I know I have a podcast. But there are some things that also I feel like I would talk about more in depth if it was just me and not in a podcast setting and just on my own videos saying what I want. I feel like that truly gives me the maximum degree of freedom and I get to say what I really want to say. Not saying that I hide anything on the podcast, but different circumstances, different behavior, you know? I'm probably only going to go through one question this time or topic because... I'm gonna keep it nice and short and sweet and kind of see how you guys feel about it. So content is draining and nobody talks about it. Content is draining. I know that when you end up becoming a big dog in the streaming world and the YouTube world, things are easier, you know? The way that you can just work by playing games and editing them and putting them out to the world and bringing people together, that sounds really fun. It sounds really good. It sounds a lot better than going to a nine to five working and having to deal with the sometimes crappy manager, but the steps to get there can be very tough, especially because a lot of people underestimate streaming. This is something that I've kind of had as a toxic thought in my brain for a long time, telling myself that streaming is easy, even though I have done it for two years and I fully know that it is very hard to do. Sorry, let me rephrase. Hard to do well. Let me explain. Any old schmo can just get a, get some computer, turn on the go live button, and just play Valorant, okay? That, I agree, does not take any special talents or hard work to be applied in a certain way. It doesn't. So, the ones that really stand out as hardworking are the ones that are consistently making their content better whether it's live streams, videos, shorts, whatever you do. And it's a consistent process. You could be improving your visuals, your graphics, your personality, not personality, but your entertainment value. You can improve the style of your content. You can improve how they're formatted, the quality, all of those things you can adjust and keep working on to make them better. And that's why genuinely I believe that even though my numbers aren't exactly the highest in the world, I think my content is pretty good quality. I would like to think that. It takes a lot of work to become a really good streamer and it takes consistency as well. And this was something that I actually talked about with my friend yesterday, cause she is incredible. She has like five small businesses and she runs them all while also being a student at a very, very prestigious university. And she's still trucking. So when I was thinking of my situation being in, you know, community college, working, working a job, I think that is a pretty good accomplishment, working a pretty good engineering job. But doing content, 
I always look down on myself being like, oh, content is not that special. It's just me sitting at my desk and playing games. And she's telling me it's not like that. Streaming looks like a lot of work. It takes a lot of energy to be that entertain, like to be entertaining for that long of a period of time, as well as the fact of trying to improve it and be consistent and building a brand. She exclaimed that it was a very hard thing to do. She admired me for it. And I appreciate that a lot. It's really nice. I know that I've been doing this for a while and I know that it's hard work. But sometimes I get the feeling, I just like put it in my brain that it's not hard, that's super easy. And I look down on myself for not being where I want to be right now because I'm thinking that it's easy. And it's not. It is not. There's a lot of steps of creativity that are hard to do, especially when you're doing all kinds of content like live streams, videos, shorts. All of them have different strategies. That's pretty much it for this one. You guys can come up with topics and questions that I may have experience with. Maybe I don't. But I do want to put these out. These are definitely less effort to edit, I believe. So I hope I can put these out on an actual consistent basis. Maybe once every week, once every two weeks. I hope you guys enjoy it because I would like my content to be entertaining, inspirational, and or educational. And I feel like on my streams, I'm 98% entertaining because that's what you got to do. I know a new chatter comes in. You don't want to be going on about how circuits are or inspiring people about goals. I can. I can. It's true. But entertainment, I feel like, speaks out to the majority, if you will. So I do those less. And I'm more often than not playing games and making jokes that stand out more. This way, I can explore content types that are different than what I usually do on stream, like the inspiration and education side. And it's a nice space for it. So I'm looking forward to it. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions or concerns. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, techies.